So as we watch Coach Ken shoot the ball here, we see how he's got the ball up, he uses his upper body strength. There's just a little bit of space between the bottom of his palm and the ball. Why is it? As we see watching from behind, as he releases the ball, he snaps his wrist and you hold it there. That's follow through. In the same way that a baseball player would swing all the way through a pitch, you want to visually put your hand in the basket and hold it there until the shot is complete, till the ball has left your hand. Guide the ball with your left hand as well for right-handed shooters. Guide the ball with your left hand. Keep your left hand on the ball for as long as you can. Coach Fred here shooting the ball. His upper body strength, you see the snap of the wrist. Watch how long he holds the left hand on the ball. It's not a one-handed shot. He's not shooting with two hands, but he's using the left hand to guide as a guide. Samari. Samari, look at the shot. His follow through is not all the way through. Uh, good four at the end, but you gotta follow through. Hand on the ball, leaving the hand, the left hand early off the ball. You gotta be up and over the rim, squared out to the rim, which is good, but make sure his hand over the rim. Get a good seams, follow through on the shot, up and over the rim, hand on the ball, so you finish the shot. When shooting the ball, feel the ball, feel the seams of the ball. If you notice my right hand, right hand is going to the, is coming to the left, it's turning down to the left, which it should go straight down or to the right. His hand is going to the left. Then, again, pointed out, his left hand is coming the ball, coming off the ball too fast, too early. Elbows out. Elbows should be in while shooting. Elbows out. As he brings the ball up, notice there's just a little space between the palm and the ball. Notice the follow through with his right hand. Then as you look behind, notice placement of hand on the ball. The right hand is right under the ball. The left hand lets go at just the right time. There's the flick of the wrist and the release. Notice the release is on the first two fingers closest to the thumb, the index and middle finger. That helps the ball go straight. So once you get this technique down, you can shoot anything. You can shoot it straight. You just have to find the touch to get the right distance. Notice the flick of the wrist where the left hand separates from the ball and the right hand starts out underneath.